Okay, today we're going to learn about implicit differentiation. So, so far we've only been dealing with explicit functions. So, an explicit function is a function of the form where y is some function of x. But we can have functions that look like um, or take this kind of form, for example, where x squared, so we had x cubed plus 5xy plus x, um, y cubed equals 16. So this is an example of an implicit function. Um, these are functions which the equation connecting y and x um, doesn't have y as the subject. Um, and we can differentiate these by using a combination of the chain rule and the product rule. So we're going to do some examples to see how this actually works. Um, so let's start off with one that, an easy one. So we're going to differentiate y cubed. So we're going to find d by dx of y cubed. Now when we're differentiating it, we always, we want to differentiate with respect to x. Um, and if you, th this, this y will be the, the variable y will be um, connected to x in some way, but we're not shown how it is connected. So what we would do is we'd use the chain rule. And we would say, let's let y equal u. So we have... Um, U, um, u cubed, I want to find the derivative of d by du, equals 3u squared, and then we'd have y, derivative of y, with respect to x, would just be dy by dx. Now this might be a you might think this is a bit of a sleight of hand. So let's now find, so the derivative of d by dx, y cubed, will be, so we take this derivative of u, is going to be 3, now we'll just put 3u squared, and then the derivative of y is dy by dx. I put that back in, you have 3u squared, um, y squared, sorry, d y by dx. And that is how you would differentiate these um, implicit equations. And you'll often find that within the de derivative, you'll have dy by dx embedded in, in the, the derivative of these um, functions. Um, it's important to remember that y will be varying as x varies. So let's do another one. So we've got 4x squared y to the power 5. And this time we're going to use the product rule. Um, so the derivative of d by dx of 4x squared y power 5. Now the product rule, if we remember, is d by dx of some function that's a multiple of u and v is equal to u d v by dx plus v d u by dx. Now in this situation, u is going to be 4x squared, so d u by dx is 8x and v is equal to y to the power 5. And again, 
for this part we use the chain rule like we just did in our previous example. So dv by dx would be, so if y was u, we'd have 5y to the power 4, and then the derivative of y would just be dy by dx. So let's slot this back in to here. So we have u, which is 4x squared, multiplied by the derivative of dv by dx, which is this. 5y to the power 4 dy by dx plus v, which is 5 to the power 5 times du by dx, which is 8x. And now we are going to um, tidy all this up. So 5 times 4 is 20 x squared y to the power 4 dy by dx plus 8x y to the power 5. Let's do another one. So we've got x cubed plus 5xy and we want to find the derivative. So that's the same as the derivative of just the x cubed, that's nice and easy, plus the derivative of, oops, d by dx, 5xy. So the first bit, we just do our normal derivative, the 3x squared, and this bit here, we're going to use the product rule on this bit here. So the u will be 5x, so that's going to be 5x, and then the derivative of y is just do, oops, that's not a y, that's not an x, 5x, then it's going to be dy by dx plus y, and the derivative of 5x is just going to be 5, so we'll put that there, and that is, that's, that's just some, that's, that's, um, as far as we can take that one. Um, let's do a more complicated um, problem. So we want to find dy by dx for the curve x cubed plus y cubed is equal to 4xy and hence find the gradient of the curve at point 2, 2. Okay, so we've got this curve. Let's bring it out here so we can have a look at it more. So we want to differentiate each part of it. And again, we're differentiating always with respect to x. So this part here is nice and easy. This part here will be using the chain rule and this bit here will use the product rule. So the, we'll do 3x squared here. And this one here will be plus. So the 3, oops, oops, 3y squared dy by dx equals. And then we differentiate this part. So we'll have x dy by dx plus derivative of it's going to be y, and then derivative of x is just 1. Um, oh, I've got the 4. It's going to be just 4 there. Um, now, what we're going to do is we're going to rearrange this. So we're going to bring everything that's got the dy by dx onto this side. So we've got 3y squared dy by dx 
minus 4x dy by dx equals, and bring, so we've got our 4y, and then we're going to bring this over here, so that's minus 3x squared. Now we can take the dy by dx out of here and have 3y squared minus 4x equals 4y minus 3x squared. And now we can rearrange it. So we have dy by dx equals 4y minus 3x squared over 3y squared minus 4x. And we want to find out what the, the gradient is at the point 2, 2. So we just slot the coordinates 2, 2 into this. So dy by dx will be equal to 4 times 2 minus 3. x squared is going to be 4 over 3 times y squared, which is um, will be 4 again minus 4 times 2, which is 8, and working all that out, we'll get minus 1 as our gradient. So let's do one more um, question tonight. So we've got the equation of a curve being 3x squared plus 2xy plus y squared equals 6. And we want to find the coordinates of the stationary points. So, here's our equation. And just like before, when we wanted to find the equation, um, the, the, the coordinates of stationary points, we would differentiate it and find out when where the derivative was 0. So let's do that. So we've got d by dx of 3x squared plus d by dx of 2xy plus d by dx y squared equals um, d by dx 6. So this is nice and easy to differentiate, so it'll just be 6x plus, now here we would use the product rule, so we'd have 2x, then it'd be dy by dx, plus the derivative um, y, times the derivative of 2x is just going to be 2, plus um, this part here we'll use the chain rule, so that'd be 2y dy by dx equals 0. Now, just so we know, I did this kind of, just looked at it and did it without all the different steps. If you're not confident in doing the product rule on these implicit um, functions or the chain rule, do we know at the side? Just take the function out of the big, the main equation, and just work through it. Just break it down to as many steps as you need to do, um, to be able to bring it to this. And don't rush yourself until you're confident in these types of equations because they are tricky, and it's a new skill set, and it just seems you're doing stuff that seems a bit like a almost like a sleight of hand, and until you get used to it. Um, just take your time. Okay, so now we're going to rearrange this formula. So we have the things that have got dy by dx on this side and the rest on the other side. So we'll have 2 dy by dx plus 2y dy by dx, or oh, 2x, sorry. Two x. There we go. Equals minus two um, y minus six x. Now you can see 
everything has a factor of 2. So we're going to just divide through by 2. And actually we'll take this dy by dx out here and have x plus y equal minus y minus 3x. So here we can now have dy by dx equals minus y minus 3x over x plus y. And we know a stationary point occurs at dy by dx equals 0. So this has to equal 0 when this part here, when minus y minus 3x equals 0. So that gives us y is going to be equal to minus 3x. Now we can take this and substitute it back into our original equation and we will be able to work out the coordinates. So I'm just going to do that and I'll open a fresh sheet up. So we had this as our original equation, 3x squared plus 2xy plus y squared equals 6 and we had y equals minus 3x. So we'll have 3x squared plus 2x minus 3x plus 3x squared equals 6. Rearranging all, um, simplifying all this down, we end up with 6x squared equals 6. So x is going to be plus or minus 1, so that if you find in then the values of y, we have the stationary points at minus 1, 3, and 1, minus 3. So hope that helps.